In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the off-canvas menu, also known as the hamburger menu. And it looks something like this. I'm going to start in Elementals Theme Builder. We're going to create a new header. We're not going to use any of Elementals pre-made templates. We're going to create our own. So I'm going to close this window. And I'm going to create a new section with two columns. I'm going to go to the height and make it mean height, make it 90. And I'll go to the column gap, no gap. I'll go to the widgets and I'm going to drag and drop the site logo to the left column. I'm going to run it to the left. I'm going to go to the style, make sure it's on pixels, and I'm going to resize the logo. I'm going to go back to the widget and I'm going to take the nav menu and drop it into the right column. I'm going to align it to the right. I'm going to select the column and make the vertical align in the middle. I'm going to do the same to the second column. That's it. I'm going to publish this header. Add the condition. It's just a staging site, so I'm going to apply to the entire site. I'm going to save and close. I'm going to switch to the home page. This is our home page with the header that we just created. I've added a hero section, which is just a background image and a heading widget. We're going to go to Edit with Elementor. So now I'm going to show you two ways to make this regular menu a hamburger menu. The first way is a matter of a toggle switch. So if we're going to go to the responsive mode and take a look at the tablet and mobile view, we're going to see that Elementor by default made our menu into a hamburger menu. So we just need to tell them to do the same in the desktop view. So now we're going to select our nav menu widget. We're going to go to layout and change it from horizontal to drop down. And now, as you can see, we have a hamburger menu. But when we try to toggle it, it acts funny. So to fix it, we're going to go to the full width and toggle the switch. And now it works just fine. Now we're going to add some styling to it. We're going to toggle down the menu so we can see it better. We're going to go to the alignment and switch it from the side to center. Then we're going to switch to the Style tab. We're going to go to the drop-down background color. And we're going to lower the opacity a bit. We're going to go to the Hover color, which right now is black. And we're going to change it to our Accent color which is orange. Then we're going to change the toggle button background color also to the accent color. Now let's update and preview and see how it looks. Nice. This was the first method of creating a hamburger menu out of a regular menu. This method is very limited, you don't have a lot of options, unlike the second method I'm going to show you. So we're going to close this tab and go back to the Elemental Editor. We're going to type Ctrl E to bring out Elementals Finder. We're going to create a new pop-up. We're going to name it Menu Pop-up and then we're going to create a template. Again, we're not going to use any of Elementor's pre-made templates. We're going to create our own, so we're going to close this window. Now we're going to create our pop-up template. Anything you can create in a regular Elementor page, you can create in a pop-up, so you understand the possibilities. So we're going to go ahead and create a new section with one column. We're going to go to Settings, which is on the bottom left. I'm going to go to the height and change it to fit the screen. I'm going to align it to the right. And then I'm going to go to the widgets. I'm going to look for my nav menu. I'm going to grab my menu and drop it into the column. I'm going to go to the layout and make it vertical. And then I'm going to center it. I'm going to go to style 
and then to typography I'm gonna change the font from Roboto to Rock Salt I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger then I'm gonna go to the line height and spread it a little bit then I'm gonna change the color I have a global color this is the hex fold if you need it then I'm gonna go to the widgets we're gonna search for social icons we're gonna grab the social icons and drag it underneath our menu we're gonna go to style we're gonna go to color custom color and then we're gonna change the primary color I'm gonna use my orange one then I'm gonna go back to the widgets to make our menu more interesting I'm gonna add the Loti animation I got my Loti widget in my favorites but you can find it in the pro widgets so I'm gonna grab the Loti widget and I'm gonna drop it above my menu now we're gonna head to lotifiles.com to find an animation so here we are at lotifiles.com I absolutely love this site I use it all the time you can find here great animation for free so we're gonna head to the search bar and we're gonna search for cat I'm gonna use this cat animation over here so I'm gonna click on it and then the settings window will open up you can use it as a JSON file but we're gonna use it as a URL so I'm gonna copy the URL I'm gonna go back to my Elementor editor make sure that the Lottie widget is selected go to the source change it to external URL paste the URL go to settings make it loop now we're gonna go to the pop-up settings again I'm gonna go to my pop-up width and change it to 530 then I'm gonna go to the style tab background type image and I'm gonna select this image this is an image that I've downloaded from unsplash.com which is a great resource for images I'm gonna insert media I can't see the close button so I'm gonna go to close button I'm gonna pick one of my global colors I'm going to change the size I'm going to go back to settings we're going to go to the entrance animation and pick fade in right exit animation is going to be fade out right we kind of publish add a condition the entire site is fine and save and close now we're going to switch to our home page now we need to trigger the pop-up that we just created there are a couple of ways to achieve that we can use an icon, an image, a heading, even a latte but in our case we're gonna use a button so I'm gonna go and edit the header I'm gonna delete the nav menu widget and replace it with a button I'm gonna delete the text and I'm gonna add an icon I'm gonna type bars and I select it and insert it we're gonna go to the style tab to typography and one, we're gonna resize it a little bit 22 is fine we're gonna go to letter spacing that's fine also we're gonna go back we're gonna go to the padding and give it a 10 and bold the radius of 13 we're gonna go back to the content and align it to the right now we're gonna set our pop-up we're gonna go to links dynamic tags we're gonna go to actions pop-up we're gonna click the wrench icon and we're gonna search for our pop-up before we're gonna update I'm gonna go back to style hover I'll make a shrink animation on hover now I'm gonna update and I'm gonna preview so as you can see our off canvas menu fades in from the right and when we close it it fades out to the right so I hope this video was useful. For more Elementor and Cocoa Block tutorials, please subscribe. 
and I'm going to see you next time.